This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom tips and tricks, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to Facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hello everybody, Mike Hoffman here with a first look at the just released Lightroom 5 beta version. This beta is available for public download at labs.adobe.com. So get over there and get yourself a copy. I'd like to show you today my three favorite features in this new version of Lightroom. Now my favorite features are not necessarily killer features, but for me they are. These are features that are really going to help my workflow. And I'm going to start out with something simple but powerful, and that's the full screen preview that's accessed by simply pressing the letter F on the keyboard. In previous versions of Lightroom, you'd have to go to Loop View, you'd have to press L for lights out a couple times, maybe press F a couple times to cycle the interface out of the way. In this case, a simple F brings you to full screen from wherever you are in the Develop module or the Library module, and it is a great time saver. This is a keyboard shortcut that I'll be using all the time. My second favorite feature in Lightroom 5 Beta is the new spot removal tool with the spot removal brush. In previous versions of Lightroom, we've had a spot removal tool where we've been able to click on our image and get a circular cloning healing effect. Now we can click on heal and we can paint just as if we had a brush. In fact, we can use our bracket keys to reduce and enlarge the size of the brush and then if we have a distracting element in our photo we can simply paint right over it. It doesn't have to be a circle any longer it can be any shape and this works just like content aware fill in Photoshop. So we'll take this source area that it's pulling from and we'll drag it down here to get something that looks a little more like trees and that looks pretty good right there we can let go and see how that looks and we'll just click again on the spot healing tool to dismiss it and that's not too bad if we want to make a change we can click on it again and we can drag this around and maybe find something a little bit better and less obvious but there you have spot healing brush here in Lightroom 5 beta for my third favorite feature we're going to go back to the library module and take a look here I've got some images here that are actually screen snapshots from one of my iOS devices. And what we can see here is that these files are PNG files. That's right, people. Lightroom 5 now supports PNG. This is a great benefit to me because I frequently am taking screen snapshots on my iPhone and my iPad. And when I import images from those devices into Lightroom, the PNGs get left behind. I have to manage them separately. And now with Lightroom support for PNG, I'll be able to pull those images right in along with the rest of the files off of my portable devices. So there you have my three favorite new features in Lightroom 5 beta. Stick around here on Tip Squirrel for lots more tips and tricks to come. We'll be delving deep into Lightroom 5 in the coming days and weeks, so do stick around. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You can find a variety of photography and Photoshop tips and tricks there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial.